on the way to go meet Surrender Free Face uh, in Premier Christian Radio. On Loretta Fenton presents Unsigned with two very talented uh, gentlemen. I'm going to call you gentlemen. Mm, that's nice. Nice. KID and Favour, hello, welcome to the show. Hello, Loretta. Thank you so much for coming in. And now, we were just discussing how I got to uh, have you on the show. How did I get hold of your CD? Yeah. And the weird thing is, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> because you guys don't remember sending it in to me, do you? Um, we didn't send it in, no. Um, I'm thinking it may have been someone at a friend or something. Yeah. yeah. They've just been handing out the scene. Well, you know what? It must be meant to be. Because if you don't remember sending it in, I don't remember how I got it all through what means. But here you are. Here it is in my hands. So. Yes, I'm feeling you. <laughs> Obviously, meant to be. What I do know is when I heard it, I was like, I know I need to get you guys in. And my assistant producer um, wrote a little notes, put it on my desk saying, Track three, yeah. Track three is fat. And that's the, the one that is getting to the gospel. So um, yeah, make sure we hear that one. The title track. Yes, exactly. The title track of the CD, which we will be speaking about a bit later on. Um, now, listening to your music on MySpace and listening to the CD, you've got a really clear gospel message but um, obviously your style of music is it in that urban genre what would you say your hip-hop would you say your grime or is it a mixture yeah we don't like to really define it as hip-hop or as grime or as garage because I don't know it's that I, I think that's too easy that's too simplistic to put it in like a box of one genre mm -hmm. it's more like like I always talk about it's all about the lyrics behind what's on the beats kind of thing so sure. yeah. we could, if we did um, a tune on a different tempo or a different type of um, song would that make us different eyes? Like I, don't, I think it's too simplistic to define it like that. Mm -hmm. Well, your message is certainly really clear in all of your songs. And yeah. um, did you both grow up in, in Christian homes? When, did, when, and how did you come to faith? Uh, what about you, KID? Yeah, similar story to Favor. Um, I was always dragged to church by Mumsy. Mumsy <laughs> once again. Um, uh, yeah, I was always dragged to church um, on Sundays. Um, at the age of 13, 14, I stopped going to church. Um, I went ch to church irregularly. Um, I did believe that there was a God that existed, but um, I, my faith was kind of hurt, I could say, and uh, I, never, I, I kind of lost faith in Christianity, but I believed there was a God there. Um, my mum continued praying for me, um, which I'm grateful for her life till this day. Amazing. So who would you say now that you aim your music at? Obviously, you, you both are really young still. Um, you, you're close enough to understand what people your own age are going through. Um, you've had experiences. Yeah. Um, would you say that you're called to um, Christians um, and asking them to take their faith seriously, to surrender? Mm. Or is it more for non-Christians, letting them know um, that Jesus is there for them? Our aim is like just to keep it real, keep it totally real, because a lot of people out there, musicians now, talking in general Christian or non-Christian, they um, talk about what's real to them, kind of thing. This, it's like, what we aim to do is just actually just be real about it. And it just hap so happens, as musicians, we have relationships with God, which is the most dominant thing in our life. Yeah. So and that what, comes through naturally. Yeah, yeah. there you go. And uh, the, what we aim to do is just express that, just be real about it and let it, let, you know, it radiate and let people be touched by it. And the best, the best bit from that is that, that what what's our our reality is like I don't know how to describe it. It's like it's that's the only reality. Yeah. Or yeah. Like mm. if someone's talking about their reality, but it's not it's not in Christ, it's not real. Yeah. And we think that truth is always at the end of the day shown. And so if we just keep portraying that through our music, then people have to that they have to understand and they'll see that and it'll come out eventually. A lot of the time in our music, we don't just strictly talk about. Um, we don't in every track. We don't necessarily say Jesus' his name. We don't necessarily say, "Oh, uh, um, you won't use Christianese." That's what we call it. Kind of just okay. that phrase or sure. hallelujah or words that. I mean, even we sometimes don't mean. We won't do that. We'd rather just talk about life. And if Christ is in our life, then through the music, people should get that. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So where someone's talking about, if um, if a Satanist, for example, was a musician. And he's making music because I'm sure there are some out there, but we don't call them we don't call it um, Satan music kind of thing. We just call them a musician, but because yeah. because that's what's in their left, that's what comes out through the music. So in the same way, I think that's why people can relate to what we're doing. Mm. Yeah. I'll tell you what, it's, it's good to hear. It's so encouraging to hear that you guys are doing that to your own peer group right now. Mm. You know, like I said, not not waiting until you know you've you've had your rebellion years and then going, oh, we sort it out now. But to do <laughs> that now and be speaking to your generation is yeah. very powerful. Mm. But we must talk about the CD. Very 
very yeah. important. Plug, plug, plug. Because oh. it is absolutely <laughs> fantastic. Um, Surrender Presents Ghetto to the Gospel, Volume 1. That makes me think there's even more volumes. I'm yes. excited yes. about that. Well, there's there's 12 tracks on there. There's also some bonus tracks. So it really is... A, um, a really good uh, value for money. How much is it? And how can people get it? It's great value awesome for money, you say? Yeah, it's great value for money. It's, <laughs> it's funny that it's free. It's, it's free. free. Yeah. Yeah. It's free how CD. good is that? But how are you? Why are you doing that? Um, because the most important for us thing for us, here, rather, is that it's out there that people hear it. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? We want people to hear the music. I expect yeah. every person to be listening to this interview to get one of these CDs. You have no excuse. That's right. so it's absolutely no fantastic. Excuse. It's a brilliant <laughs> message, and it's free. Yeah, what more could you ask? I mean, Freeface, yeah. Edgerow, what's good? Yeah, yes, man. sir. Let's go. Yeah. yeah. Check over and over and over, over again. again. My enemies back down, they don't want to risk war with a child of Jehovah over again. again. Crest on showed them the levels and inspired me to be bolder than them. So I bring more than a revolver Rope to, to them. them. I'm so brave with the truth I speak. Whoever comes against it's prone to an end. end. I don't say there's no hope for the wicked because I had a heart once colder than, than them. them. The truth can deal with theirs the same way. So we pray that the truth's made known to them then. Yep. Once they surrender, pray they remember the truth and thank God for the new member. member. Find a new target, yep. same agenda. Present the truth all over again. Like, Christianity is a very, very deep, deep thing. thing. If you reject Christ, is a very, very deep, deep sin. sin don't know what sin is find where the ben is that's, that's what, what your life, life is worth, worth without him, him. Hmm. rubbish thinking needs some help need to get a replacement off of the shelf but the only replacement is jesus that's why you need to believe us believers and be on the path Both ways preach the word in the last, last days. days god don't care about the outward appearance he just cares about the heart, heart mate. mate jeremiah 17 verse 9 says that the heart is deceitful above all things you might not know what the heart brings but the word elaborates on what the heart brings Yo, i talk about jesus why, why? because there's something about, about that, that man. man so many would choose to doubt about that man, man. But I would be worthless without, without that, that man. man That man's much more than a man, man. Worth more than a grand. grand He's got the master plan. plan Provides more protection than a shank in your pants And a gun, gun in, in your hand, hand. He's so spectacular And although that's not a word I don't know if words can describe How, how miraculous, miraculous he, he is. is He lives Although he died and he gives me shelter I'm so glad he found me. me That's why I rep so loudly yeah. Even when my days Listen, get cloudy From the back to the front From the front, front to, to the back, back. Spit bars to praise God, God on this track. track One thing I know bruv is this, this fact. fact My God is on point and, and exact And I don't slap when it comes comes to the praising, nope. week out, week in, going, going for days. days, and I'll lift these names at random, bust the dance, start the Holy Ghost skanking.